It's been a minute since we've checked in with Airs' restoration centre, so let's see what the restoration crew are up to. Since completing our FM2 Wildcat restoration and sending it off to its new home at the American Heritage Museum, all focus is now on our SPD-1, on loan from the National Naval Aviation Museum. This SPD-1, Bureau number 1612, is the only remaining Dash 1 in the world. On November 23rd, 1942, during a training flight, this SPD-1 crashed into Lake Michigan, tragically killing its pilot, Ensign Herbert McMinn. Recovered in 1994 by A&T Recovery, the aircraft passed through several museums before arriving at the Air Zoo in 2021, and we've been working on it since then. Wayne, who you might remember from the FM2 project, is now working on the SBD-1. Today, he is reconstructing the channels where the SBD's two forward-firing machine guns would sit. I'm going to include all this footage of you opening every wrong every drawer. drawer. Yeah. I got it. Putting in the sheet metal along this, rebuilding that, and then reinforcing the uh, bracing around the front as well as this C channel in here that was destroyed when it uh, crashed. So that's our project for the day. So what's the, what, what, what have you got to do for that? Uh, a lot of sheet metal bending, offsetting so that it Put fits. Yeah, so it fits tight. And then we have a bunch of holes to drill and then rivet it into place. So, as well as hopefully dimensionally get it as close as original as we can. Along with the gun channels, the team are making the spent ammo chutes that run to the bottom of the aircraft. The Navy kindly supplied us with a couple of these chutes, but unfortunately they're all for the starboard side, so our volunteers are in the process of making a reproduction for the port side. In order to land its guns and bombs on target, SBDs were equipped with a gun sight that went through the canopy. We caught up with Joe, who is restoring the SBD's uh, canopy. This is the, uh, the front windshield of the SBD, and uh, I'm fitting up the canopy right now. Um, we just took the glass off because we were trying to get this thing properly fitted. And if you, inside here we have the bullet resistant uh, shield that's going to go inside of the inside of the canopy that the and this is the hole where the bomb sight goes through. So I have two pieces right here now. Um, this one this one's going to be the one that's going to go on the SPD one, and we we're hopefully going to put another one on. The one in the museum, because the one in the museum isn't quite up to uh, to standards. So this particular piece goes on this end. It's the pilot's cushion for his eye, and this is the optics for the front of it. That's outside of the outside of the canopy. We've had some uh, gun sights that were made on a 3D printer here, and. Most of these parts that will along, go along with it were made on a 3D printer, including this eyepiece here. This mounting bracket was made according to print, bent out of metal. So, and this particular item was just a flagpole and the top of a flagpole. You don't have to be paying close attention to notice that we're building up quite the collection of dive brake sections for this SBD project. When we got the Dash 1, we were missing a couple of sections from its iconic dive brakes. Luckily, the Navy sent us a spare set for us to reproduce. The SBD dive brakes have five sections, three lower sections and two upper sections. 2025 is going to be a big year for this restoration project, so make sure you follow our progress by subscribing to the AirZoo on YouTube and paying us a visit. Learn more and plan your visit at airzoo.org.